All oh, right, everybody. What is going on? Welcome back to another video. Today's video, I'm going to be looking at running backs. I'm going to be looking at how to train as a running back. You guys might have seen my video recently. Rugby player, <laughs> running back training day one. Well, that was me after having watched nothing but a few highlight videos. Seeing how, like, I didn't even know that you, you had to put your, well, the arm closest to the quarterback up. So I was running through, grabbing the court, gra look, I was running through, grabbing the ball from my left, having my left arm down, um, I was making stupid cuts into the middle, there's no point in me doing a big step or a shimmy to try and get past someone just to run a short um, receiving route, I may as well just plant that foot in as hard as I can, change my direction as fast as possible, and then start looking for the ball. Um, but I had no idea, I had no idea what I was doing, all I wanted to do, all I wanted to do out of that video was to just... Just prove to you guys, just prove to you guys that I can run, you know, just prove to you guys that all this shit about me, you know, talking about side steps and, and you know, giving my critique on them and, and stuff, I, I wanted you guys to not think, holy, this guy's full of shit, you know, some of you guys might have thought that, and I didn't want that, I thought, I want these guys to take me seriously, I want these guys to know what I'm up to, I want to be a running back, everyone tells me I should be a wide receiver or a safety or a cornerback, but I want to be a running back. I want to spy those holes. I want to. I want to cut. I want to be like Jared Hain. I do. I want to bring my rugby knowledge, my rugby style of play, my steps, my jukes, my speed, into the game of American football and use it in the best way possible. With that said, guys, we're about to look at my first proper, you know, running back training. I don't know what video I'm going to look at. A few people have uh, sent through some suggestions. There's too many. I can't really choose. So we're going to go on YouTube right now. Do the old screen recorder and um, try and get some skills that I can go down to the park and practice with today. So I've got two balls now. I don't even know if this is a proper NFL ball. Tell me guys, is it? Wilson. I'm not sure. It seems smaller than the college ball. Is that meant to be the case? I'm not sure. Anyways, I've got two balls. I'm going to go down to the field, me and my girlfriend and my daughter, and um, we're going to have some fun. So before that, let me take a sip of my coffee. I've already made two videos this morning. I haven't even taken a sip. What the fuck? Ah. All right. All right, guys. Let's learn. Let's learn how to play a running back. Or how to train as a running back. Because I want to be good, man. I really do. How to play running back. Running back. Running Football training tips. How to play running back. Well... It's the top video, I mean, let's just click on it. <laughs> Where's my sound at, man? There are four things you need to know. Ooh. Hi, my name's Otis St. Clair. Today I'm here to talk to you about how to play running back. There are four things you need to know when becoming a running back. That's proper stance and release. How to receive a handoff how to read your holes, and how to block. So the first thing we're going to talk about is your proper, proper stance and release. So follow me. This, right, this guy was out here grinding, making YouTube videos nine years ago, guys. Ah, he was a couple of steps ahead of me. The big cones represent our offensive line. Okay. The little cone represents our quarterback. Okay. As a running back, you should line about seven yards deep in the backfield, directly behind the quarterback. Some running backs use a two-point stance, which is basically both feet playing on the ground, shoulder width apart, hands resting on knees, just like this. Other Guys, I can't even, I can hardly contain my excitement, man. I'm fu finally watching some actual training. I feel like I'm down at a, at a footy training. I feel like I'm down at a football training right now. Finally. Yes. Sometimes running backs will use a three-point stance. Again, both feet planted on the ground, shoulder width apart. And down to a three-point stance. I'm not sure. Now, let's talk about handoffs. From a two-point stance, depending on which way we're running the ball, we determine how we receive the ball. If we are running to our right side, the ball's going to come to our left side, so we need to have our left arm up, right arm underneath it, approach the ball, plant down, and go. Opposite for the opposite side. If we're going to the left side, we're receiving the ball on our right side. Right arm up, left arm by waist, 
see. Yeah, because we'd go through, we'd grab it, have that, and fucking try and really, like, put it right into that corner, have a nice grip of it here, and then take this arm off, bring it down, and start running with the ball, right? So if you're going to the right, you'd take it like that. Hopefully it would go right into your right arm. You'd take it out and start running with the ball. Like, you want it to be planted right in that four points of contact, don't you, from the quarterback? Ball, find hole, and go. Second thing, once we receive the ball, we, would, we need to know where we're going. We need to know what hole to read. So, our holes are numbered by odd numbers on the uh, right side, even numbers on the left side. So, if we're running at 23, there's a one hole in our three hole. So, I would take the ball here and run through our three hole. And then, the last and most important thing to do is to be able to block as a running back. Sometimes you don't always get the ball because we pass, so you need to be able to pass protect as well. So as you approach the line of scrimmage to block, you need to be looking for a linebacker, break down with your knees and waist directly underneath you, hands up in front, make contact, and try to drive to the outside so that you create a pocket for the quarterback. And that's it. Shit. Those four things will help you come. Shit. So I've got to block linebackers? Ah, shit. <laughs> Alright, pro tips. Running back receiving the handoff. Let's do this. Oh yeah. It's very important for the running back to receive the handoff from the quarterback. There's three things that he needs to be concerned about. Proper posture, proper mesh point, and a proper pocket. I'm going to show you right now what it is to have a proper mesh point. When the quarterback receives the ball, running back steps. This moment here where the running back and the quarterback comes together is called the mesh point. The next thing to the mesh point is having a proper pocket. The ball snap. Running back, quarterback step. Notice how the pocket is nice and wide. The elbow closest to the quarterback is up. The hand that's on the same side of the up elbow, the palm is down. Underneath, where he's going to support the ball, the palm is facing up. This is called a pocket. Receiving the handoff from the quarterback, you have to have a proper posture. Once the ball is snapped to the quarterback, the running back will step forward. Eyes is going to the line of scrimmage or the direction that he is going to. The knees are bent. The elbow closest to the quarterback is up, palm down. Both the quarterback and the running back need to be on the same plane. Proper posture. Open chest. Nice flexion in the hips. On the balls of the feet, ready to make a play. This is what you're not supposed to do. Back That's here. what I want to hear. Ready to make a play. Oh, yeah. Step. Oh, I'll be ready, mate. I'll be fucking ready. He gets close to the quarterback, and he keeps the elbow closest to the quarterback down. When this happens, I was doing that. When the quarterback puts the ball inside the pocket, the elbow's in the way. It's a fumble. Ball goes on the ground. Most likely, it will be a turnover. The second thing that will cause another turnover between the exchange from the quarterback and the running back is when the running back reaches for the handoff from the quarterback. Mm. This is what you're not supposed to do. Okay. The ball snap. Running back comes to the quarterback and puts both hands out and reaches. No, the no, ball no, from no, the no. <laughs> this exchange here is a high percentage of a fumble. Oh yeah. As a running back, I always want the rock. Fourth and one, third and one. Give me the ball. That's why I got to make sure I know the three keys. Proper posture, proper mesh. Third and one, fourth and one, give me the ball. Fourth and one, you want the ball, man. What if, whoa, well, geez, what if you don't make it? Point and a proper pocket. Well, you're not going to risk a pass on one yard, are you? Probably. Oh, yeah. The check and release. What's this? What? 
Whoops. If the play called is for you to check and release, your first responsibility is to check to see if the linebackers are rushing and you must pick them up on a pass protection. Your second responsibility is the release, which is to run to your route, which can be at the linebacker's depth over the ball. Once you get to the linebacker's depth, then you turn around and face the quarterback, find a window, and look at the quarterback's eyes in preparation to receive the ball. The second check release route for the running back is the flat route. With this, sometimes the running back is called to check two reads. The inside read of the linebacker rushing, continuing scanning out to the outside for the second read, which is the outside linebacker rushing off the edge. On his way to the out route, if none of the linebackers rush, he will throttle his feet down, make sure there are no rushing linebackers, and then continue to the numbers near the sideline. Oh my god. Why did I not understand that? Um, how to play running back. How, I know how to take the, the hand off. The mesh point. I know the mesh point. I know the pocket. What about basic slot receiver roots? The root tree. Slot receiver techniques and skills. The root tree. The root tree. All right, let's watch this. <laughs> I said that about three times. Hello, everyone. I'm Solomon Wilcox, and welcome to NFL 101. NFL 101 is your resource for learning more about the game we all love. This is where we take time to illustrate and provide definition to phrases that are commonly used but are seldom See, guys, I could have been watching this shit, like, all the time, all day, every day, learning the game. But I want to do it on camera with you guys. And I'm in no rush. I really, I, I'm not. So, yeah, let's just, let's continue. I'm really enjoying this. Understood. As I like to say, we're here to take your football IQ to the next level. Now, what exactly is the route tree? Well, you came to the right place because we have the tape, and I'm here to break it down for you. The route tree means that every number is assigned to a specific oh, route. Oh, yeah. The zero route is a quick five-yard square in, meant to get the ball out of the hands of the quarterback to the wide receiver. A one route. It's a five-yard out-breaking route. Quick movements to get open very quickly. A number two route is a three-step slant. You must win by gaining inside position on the defender to get open. A three route is a ten-yard out-breaking route towards the sideline. Route number four is a vertical route which breaks towards the inside, simply known as a curl route. Now, route five, it looks identical. I'm gonna, I'm gonna practice some of those. Hopefully I'll get a good pass from the quarterback. ...to a four route, but instead of a curl, you snap it off and break toward the line of scrimmage. <coughs> And the what a catch. Route look almost identical. Now we have the six route. It's Ooh. a ten yard square in. I do but that you all have day. To be able to sell it as if you're Bang. outside, quickly gaining inside leverage on the defensive back as you run across the field, getting open for your quarterback. Now route seven is known as the corner. You sell as if you're breaking inside, but you angle toward the corner of the end zone for a touchdown. An eight route is known as the post. You sell oh, yeah. like you're breaking. I can do this shit all day, man. All fucking day. I just don't know if I can do it with pads and a helmet on. Outside and then gain leverage by cutting towards Bang, the what a nice step, bro. The defender, but I can do that. A big pass play for the offense. Now we have OBJ. what we call the nine route. A go route. It's about sure speed. Where the receiver breaks outside and goes straight down the field for a deep pass catching play. A 10 route is simply a stop and go. You stop, <laughs> spin out, and set up the back shoulder fade to make a play on the defense. Now, what is the route tree? Each route is assigned a number. Even number routes break to the inside of the field, while odd number routes will break. Alright guys, that completely confused the fuck out of me. 
Um, oh my god. All right, beginner. Beginner. I know. Beginner. Receiving routes. Passing route plays. Okay, let's look at this guy again. I quite liked him. Hi, my name's Otis St. Clair, and I'm here today to talk to you about passing route plays. Now, every team or every organization has a passing route tree. So I'm going to show you some the passing route tree and probably show you a couple routes that you can run with your offense. Okay. The passing route tree starts with wide receiver and goes up like this, which would be called the fly route. Then off of that, we have our branches. First branch we'll draw is a quick out. That's running about three to five yards. Then we have a slant route, which is also running about three to five, maybe six yards. Going up from there, staying on to the outside, we have a deep out. We have what's called a flag route, which is run to the flag part of the end zone. And then coming off of that, going back to the inside, we have a curl, or which used to be called a butt hook. And we'd have a post route. And then we have what's called a N or square N. These routes are also numbered as well. This one is called a one route for the quick out. Two. Two for the slant. Three. Three for the deep out. Four for the end. Five for the flag. Six for the curl. And we have a post corner that I forgot, which is a seven route. Eight routes for the post route. And a nine route is the fly route. Camera ran out of battery. Disaster. Absolute disaster. Let's continue. Oh, that's our passing tree. Our even numbers are to the inside with the football being right here. So if you call an even number, the passing tree, the passing routes are going to the inside. If you call an out route with an odd number, they're going to the outside or towards the sidelines. That's your basic simple passing route tree. You can make your playbook. Okay, so the quarterback would, would, would know by the number that he calls which which side of the tree that the receiver is going to be on. So he's going to be looking either to the sideline for 1, 3, 5, and 7, or to the inside of the field from 2, 4, 6, and 8. Look, from this tree right here, run your routes, score touchdowns. My name's Otis, and that's our passing route plays. Okay, thanks Otis. But I really, I, I need to know, alright, which ones should I practice? Alright, um, 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 receiving roots, uh, beginner. <laughs> alright, man, yeah, we're gonna be, we're gonna be looking at, uh, an eight-year-old doing this, okay? Eight-year-old Sean, wide receiver, route running. Oh yeah. Good, good, Sean, you're back. Good work. Good. Good. Yeah. Good job. That is cute, man. Fast feet. Beautiful. <laughs> love that kid. I uh, love that kid. Um, all right, one last, one last one. Here we go. How to play wide receiver. I'm here with Coach Schleisner and Flair Townsend for this week's pro tips, where they're going to teach me how to be a wide receiver. So what's the first thing I need to know about 
just being a wide receiver today? Well, I think first thing that goes in, I think we're going to have to start with route running, but, you know, it might take a little time, maybe more than one session, but we can start out with that. Okay, we can say that, uh, we'll say that we're on the ball, okay, and we have to make sure we check with the referee, make sure we're on the ball, we'll give him a little sign, put it right here, okay. Okay, he tells us we're on the ball, okay, so we're set here, we most of the weight up on our uh, front toe, okay. okay, so we're going to be going forward. Do you, like, talk crap to them, like, hey, try to stop there? I'm, I'm more the I'm more the the silent kind of guy. So this is called a pitch. So we'll start. We check with our referee. We get our we get our stance set. Okay. And once our quarterback says set hut, we're gonna run around. So we're gonna get wait, wait, wait. one, two, three, one, two, turn around, catch the ball. Which way do I turn? Anywhere? Whichever way you want. <laughs> I think we're gonna move up to uh, the second next level. one. Second level here. We're gonna do a, do a three step slam. Three step, three step slam. Three step slam. Okay. I just got to practice my fast feet. I've got to practice being able to stop really, really fast and change direction and get up to speed again. Whether that's turning around 180 degrees and looking at the quarterback, whether that's an inside move, whether that's an outside move, a 1, 3, 5, or 7, or a 2, 4, 6, or 8. I've got to make a flag route right down the seam, up the middle. No, what's that? The fly route. I like the fly route, man. If you've got pace, you can go the fly route. <laughs> Just don't get cleaned up by the cornerback. This is going to be a most likely a one on one route. If you reach the corner, you got to beat him okay. to the ball. Oh, this is what I like. The same thing. This is what I like. Corner, it's a one on one route with the cornerback, and you got to beat him to the ball. The three step slant. Second level here, we'll do a three step slant. Three step, three step slant. Three step slant. Okay. This is going to be a most likely a one-on-one -on -one route. If you versus the corner, you got to beat him okay. to the ball. Okay. And what we're going to do is we'll do the same thing. We're going to see we're on line of scrimmage. Okay. We're going to check with our referee. Yep. And we're going to get him. And we're going to make sure to take three big steps. And on our third step, you have to plant really hard and come across the middle. Say so, hut. One, two, three. Bang. Yeah. Catch and go. Give me another one. Say so, hike. Give me another one. Yeah. Oh, spin move! Okay. Okay, we're gonna run a close corner. Okay. Well, we call it, we call it blue. Alright, so what we're gonna do, once again, we're gonna be one on one with the corner. Okay. It's our job to beat him. We're gonna run 12 yards, okay? Okay. We're gonna break, just like we did the slam, we're gonna break about 45 degree angle. Three hard steps, and then break back outside. Okay. And we're gonna go another 45 degree angle back the other way. Can you, can you still play, uh, still do what I play uh, defense? Yeah. Let's right. go, let's try it. Let's see you guys, see how good of a teacher we are. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Make a missing go. Yes. Well, thank you guys so much. I, I actually knew a lot. Yeah? Yeah, it's fun. I think you could uh, play on set. Um, how to play running back. Last one, guys. I, I'm just, I'm loving this. I'm fucking loving this. Eight best running back qualities. All right, last one. Football recruiting. Here we go. This is exactly what I want. This is what I need to do to be recruited by a college. <laughs> you know, the running back position is one that has a lot of different uh, styles. Mm. They're all effective. Mm. The 5'9", quick, change of direction kind of a back. The big old back, the, the, the 6 foot, 215 pound downhill runner. But I think what college coaches look for in, in running backs, in their tailbacks and fullbacks, is versatility, really. you got to have vision first. You have to understand. You have to be able to see the hole or, and see the adjustment of where you need to run the football, your running lane. And you have to have explosiveness. You have to get to the line of scrimmage in a hurry, right? you got to press that hole that you're supposed to be running to in a hurry, in a split second, so that the defense only has a second to react. And once you do that, that ability to stick your foot in the ground or make that jump cut to avoid that tackler or to get into the open and maybe get around your blocker are key things. You know, There has to be an ability to, to make a defender miss, whether it's by power running over them or whether it's by change in direction, right? And that's, those are some of the things, the basic things that a coach is looking for. And then there's got to be that burst. Boom! Boom! That acceleration, right? 
that, <laughs> that chance where two defenders are coming. And I, as a tailback, have that ability to split those guys with that burst. Right down down the the seam. And then versatility, I talk about catching the ball out of the backfield. If you can catch the ball out of the backfield, you can be in an every down. And blocking. If you can block, carry out your assignments on the fakes and do the little things, as a running back, you can be in on every down, right? And if you're 5'9", you better be a strong son of a gun with great quickness, okay? Because that's how you'll overcome the concern about the height. Understand what kind of a back you are. Use the basic skills that you have to have as a tailback and make them miss, guys. Oh, you are speaking my language, buddy. You really are. i got to say, making people miss. Fuck yes. All right, guys, that is enough. I'm going to take this football and my college one down to the field very shortly. I'm going to have my second attempt at trying to run some routes as a running back. And I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. I have. I've learned about the running tree, the root tree. If I had have gone to a training and not known about the root tree, well, I would have been an absolute novice. Now I'm not so much, I guess. I know I can do this, guys. Look, what it comes down to is I just listened to that guy. He's a fucking college recruiter. All right, he's seen it all. He spoke my language. I know I can do everything that he just said. I just need to know when to run, where to run, and exactly how to run. I've got the acceleration. I've got the fast feet. I can make people miss. So let's fucking do it. Let's do it. Peace.